Welcome to the fourth grade math homework help presentation. Times change, technologies change, and knowledge changes about how to teach kids to apply what they know to real life situations, which means they're learning subjects in some ways that leaves those of us who are parents scratching our heads at their child's kindergarten homework. Today, your kids are learning a subject like math differently. They will still learn formulas and equations, but they will be using new techniques like visualization to help kids get a firmer grasp of math earlier. So no matter what Algebra 2 or pre-calc problem they encounter, they will have a fundamental understanding of how math works. This change is critical for your kids. More kids will get math. More kids will stay with it. More kids will go farther with it and be able to staff the jobs of tomorrow. We know you want to be able to help your kids with their homework, but that you might need a little help in keeping up with what your kids are learning. This presentation will provide you with insight as to how to support your child with homework. Are you wondering, why is this confusing? What is this? Where can I get help? Well, help is on the way. There's nothing better than seeing your kids succeed. And there's nothing worse than not being able to help them when they're struggling. Math may look different now. Times change, technologies change, and knowledge changes about how to teach kids to apply what they know to real life situations. This presentation will help you become a math superhero. You probably have questions such as, what are the benefits of math homework? How much time should students spend on homework? What could homework look like? What resources are available to help parents? Well, this presentation will help answer these questions. Let's take a look at some of the benefits of math homework. So what are the benefits of homework? Well, for students, homework should deepen their understanding and solidify skills and concepts that they have already learned in class. For parents, the benefits of homework is that it should communicate what the students are learning. It's also an opportunity for parents to help their children build study habits. There are also benefits for teachers. Homework helps give teachers feedback about students' learning, and it can help guide decisions about what math instruction students need. Let's take a look at the amount of time that should be spent on math homework. Does it feel like your child spends all night at the kitchen table doing homework? Well, the school district of Hillsborough County provides mm -hmm. parents and teachers with specific guidelines as to how homework should be utilized at each grade level. For fourth grade, homework should not exceed a total of 45 minutes per night. This homework should be coordinated among the teachers so as to not exceed that recommended amount of time devoted to homework. In other words, the 45 minutes for a fourth grade student is for all subject areas, not just math. Let's take a look at some characteristics of fourth grade math homework and examples of what it could look like. Characteristics of any math homework should include the following. Kids should already have the skills needed to complete the homework independently. The homework should be practice of content that has already been learned in the classroom. And the assigned tasks should strengthen their understanding. Homework may come in many different forms. Examples of fourth grade homework will be shared on the following slides. Homework may come from a textbook. Notice it has opportunities to reinforce new learning as well as a review of previously learned content called a spiral review. Homework could be real world application of a skill. Your child may be asked to find materials within the home to model a number sentence or an equation, or they may be asked to solve real world word problems such as the one on this slide. Your child may also be asked to problem solve through a task. In these examples, students are asked to analyze errors, apply strategies previously learned in class, and evaluate models. 
This reinforces the idea that kids should think critically and flexibly when problem solving. Your child may also be sent home with a game to play and practice with you in order to reinforce content learning class. The directions for these games should be sent home, they should be clear, and all the needed materials should be sent home in order to play the game. To support your child with their homework, it is important to ask questions. Some questions to ask your child as they are working on homework could include, let's estimate before you solve. Then we can see, is your answer reasonable? What other problems have you solved in the past that might help you solve this problem? What is it that you are really trying to figure out? What is happening in this problem? Can you tell me in your own words? What does that number in the problem represent? The document on this slide is another tool to use to ask additional questions. These questions are open-ended and can be applied in all areas of mathematics. An additional support tool that our district has provided for parents are the parent flyers. Each unit has a parent flyer to provide additional information on that unit's content. This is an example of a fourth grade parent flyer. Each flyer provides a description of the learning that will occur during the unit. It may provide narrative as well as pictures of strategies that will be taught. For many of the parent flyers, there is also an accompanying parent video that will provide further clarification of the content and strategies that are addressed within the unit. On the flyers, you will also find helpful links and websites that you can access from home to support your child with their learning. Each parent flyer will provide you with sample tasks that outline the types of work that your child will engage with in the classroom. Finally, each flyer will provide purposeful practice ideas that can be applied at home in order to reinforce the skill or concept from the unit. There are a wide variety of online resources that are also available to parents so that you can better support your child's learning. Here are some examples of online resources that can be accessed from a home computer in order to support your child's learning. LearnZillion includes over 3,000 math video lessons and related resources. You can sign up for a free membership and it would be a great resource for you and your children. Think Central Online Resource is a source for students to access the online component of their GoMath textbook from home. Lastly, all parent flyers can be found on the school district website. To continue advocating for your child, it is imperative that you establish communication with your child's teacher. Ask questions such as, what are the upcoming topics in math? What math topic causes my child the most difficulty? How could I best support what is happening in the classroom? Should my child be able to complete the homework on their own? I'm worried about why he can't finish the problems. What might we do to help him? If my child is struggling with homework, how should I communicate this to you? And finally, how does my child receive feedback about their homework? We hope this presentation has provided you with the knowledge and information you need to be your child's biggest advocate. Thank you for joining in today. This publication was made possible in part by a grant from Carnegie Corporation of New York. The statements made and views expressed are solely the responsibility of the author.